In this video, I'm going to talk about Marco chains, which is uh, a theory uh, invented by the guy you see over at the right here. He was uh, a Russian mathematician that lived from 1856 to 1922, called Andrei Marco, and worked at the Petersburg University in St. Petersburg in Russia. Uh, so a Markov chain is a model which can be used to analyze sequential probabilistic systems, where the outcome of, outcome of one of the iterations can become the input of the to the next. So it is used in a wide variety of fields, spanning from informatics, biology, chemistry, and even analyzing football games. Let's look at an example where we study the movement patterns between Borno and Prague, for example. So in initially, Prague is uh, the most populated city. It has 78% of the total um, population between the two cities. And um, when we talk about uh, Borno, 22% of the population uh, is in this city. Uh, now, uh, we have the situation where um, uh, Borno is a very popular town to be moving into. So uh, there is a probability that 6% is moving from Prague to Borno annually. So probability of moving from Prague to Borno is 6% or 0, 0, 0 0.06. And the probability of moving the other way, also from uh, Borno to Prague, that is 0 0.02, so only 2%. And uh, using this, this information, we can, we can develop a, a sort of a simulation which, uh, of how the movement patterns is going to develop annually. So uh, if we uh, look at... Um, illustrate uh, Borneo over here and then we have um, and then we have Prague over here which I'm going to use the, the letter C since uh, Prague is, uh, is the capital I'm going to use the letter C to illustrate that uh, that's uh, the reason is that I'm going to use um, the letter P for something else um, so uh, how can we um, how can we go about uh, uh, showing how this movement pattern is going to take place? Well, there is um, uh, that was a six percent chance. To, oh no, there was a two percent chance to moving from Borno to cap, to the capital, and a six percent chance of moving the other way. And since six percent is moving out of the capital. Annually, there has to be uh, someone staying, and those who are staying is uh, 0.94%. Uh, and in Borno, uh, 0 0.98 is choosing to stay each year. Since that's the left of, uh, of the 2% who is moving out. So, this model can be depicted like this. And uh, if we are going to uh, calculate how this is going to develop, we need to uh, some initial uh, state. And the initial state can be illustrated by uh, um, a sort of uh, a vector, which is uh, the Borneo and the capital at, uh, at the zero um, year, you can say. And this was 0 0.22 and 0 0.78, as we initially stated. That was a percentage of a capital, uh, of a, a percentage of, um, of population in each city. Uh, so, when we have this situation, how can we uh, calculate uh, the next year? So next year, what is the pop population in Borneo going to be? So the population in Borneo uh, will consist of 
um, the people choosing to stay in Borneo that is based on the current population times 0 0.98 98% of the population state but um, uh, the uh, there was an, uh, a net inflow from the capital as well so that was uh, zero uh, the um, uh, the, cap the the population in the capital at uh, year zero times um, the six percent movement from that uh, city you have a similar situation in the in the capital in that year one you uh, look at who is coming in from uh, Borneo well, that was 2% uh, of Borneo's population, written like this, plus the ones who are staying in the capital, and that is 94% uh, of the population. Uh, this can be uh, calculated, of course, uh, as, a, as a number, and uh, doing that, you end up with 0 0.26, and 0 0.74 so uh, actually Borneo's uh, population increased by uh, 4% and uh, the capital uh, uh, decreased by 4% as well uh, so and we may be observing that this can be rewritten as uh, a matrix system so if we say that uh, x x1 is the population vector at the first year so that is consists of the population in uh, borneo and and c and, and the capital at year 1 uh, then we can write x1 as a matrix consisting of the numbers that we multiplied these uh, populations uh, with and that is 0 0.98. I'm just picking out the numbers from this uh, calculation above. 0 0.06, 0 0.02, and 0 0.94. And then uh, calculating and then putting in the numbers B0 and C0. So, and you can if you are not uh, quite sure about this uh, rewriting you can stop the video and, and just check that for yourself it's a simple matrix multiplication here going on uh, so you can uh, now see that it's possible to uh, to rewrite this in a simpler notation if we call this uh, the probability matrix p probability So for short, we can write uh, this uh, equation like this, x1 equals p x0. Um, so finding the population the next year, if we want to go to the uh, year number 2, is, it can be seen that it's simply to uh, multiply this uh, p matrix with the x1 instead. Because if that is assumed that uh, the probability stays the same uh, each year. So as such, uh, x2 can be found by writing p times x1. Uh, and this uh, iteration is actually can be going on for uh, infinitely uh, many years. Uh, so, but we can uh, do the calculations for this uh, second year, uh, writing that up, uh, the concretely, the matrix multiplication will be something like this. And then we had, uh, we found uh, what uh, um, P1 and P2 was, uh, no, uh, B C B1 and C1. If we go back a little bit, we found out that that was 0 0.26 and uh, 0 0.74. So let's just replace that. Like this. 
Calculating that will come out with the next year population and uh, that will be 0 0.30 and 0 0.70. So we see that uh, the population increases by 4% each year in, in Borno and, and decreases 4% in, in Prague each year. Uh, so if we are continuing this we can write uh, a general uh, general uh, yearly population vector like this. The previous year is inputted and calculated and, and uh, multiplied with the probability matrix and that gives us um, this current year's uh, population. Uh, and it can be shown for uh, such positive matrices like this. Um, there is a stable solution. Uh, so uh, this uh, decrease cannot of course continue at the same rate uh, in uh, Prague and um, in, um, in Borneo uh, the same increase uh, four percent but because then we will come out in negative numbers <laughs> inevitably and um, that is not allowed when it comes to probabilities. So so this has to um, decline uh, to a stable solution somehow and it uh, when we are talking about uh, such stable solutions you can say that there is if there exists such a stable solution you can say that this is the infinitely numbered uh, iteration where uh, where the next year and population is the same as the, pre the, the previous year so, uh, uh, situation that is called a stable or equilibrium Uh, population vector. Oh, sorry, a little bit. Vector. Okay, so uh, I will illustrate it a little bit further also using MATLAB. Um, so stay with me a bit more. So here I have uh, entered in the uh, um, I entered the uh, probability matrix uh, in MATLAB, and um, uh, if I'm uh, now entering the x value, uh, the initial x value or the um, population vector uh, like this, I could calculate the next year by uh, just multiplying p and x. Uh, so I could uh, then have this called this x0 and then uh, invented a new variable called x1 like this but in um, MATLAB and in other programming environments it's possible to assign uh, a new variable uh, to the exactly the same as so replace the, va the content of, uh, of x with uh, a, a certain calculation so I can't do this in mathematics, but in uh, programming I can. So you can see that this um, develops as I have calculated earlier. And then if I just repeat this calculation forever, you can see how the population in Borno increases and uh, Prague, which is uh, in the last uh, part of the vector, is uh, steadily decreasing. So just continuing this uh, simulation for uh, certain number of uh, iterations you can see that at least at a, a certain time the the Borneo population is actually bypassing uh, Prague and here we, we have uh, we are at 53 percent and 55 steadily increasing and if we are going uh, to continue this uh, the increase is uh, is going to decrease as so the increase is decreasing <laughs> So you can see that when you are starting to getting closer to 75%, uh, that is actually the stable solution that I was talking about earlier. 75% in uh, Porno. And 25% um, in Prague. Okay, thank you.